All right, we've got several bottles that are either salvaged from the dumpsters or from Amazon mystery boxes or Facebook freebies, roadside picks, dumpster diving, etc. I went ahead and got the lid, a first coat painted on that. I have this little bottle that I'm almost certain was from a public school dumpster a few years ago. I did go ahead and tear off the front label and started tearing off the back label, then realized with these arthritic hands that that was not necessary. <laughs> I really only need to tear off the front. I have a piece, a scrap piece that we are going to cut in some way to be our wool of bat magic. And I think that will go in this jar. In this one, I, what did I decide to do? I think it was gonna be some kind of bat blood in here, maybe. Then in this one, we are going to do spider legs and I'm going to use this doll hair. What was this in? I can't remember. I'm not sure yet what this one is gonna be. I also have crow feathers. I don't yet have a container for them. I'm working on it. I've got like several small containers available, kind of like I've got this one, this one here. These are just way too small for the crow feathers. So I'm thinking those maybe, hmm. Yeah, I have no idea what those will be yet, but I am going to see what jars I happen to have available because a nice big maybe pickle jar would be perfect for these. Well, not a big pickle jar, but like, you know, a smaller one, medium size maybe. I also have this one that we found in the dumpsters years ago. I've used it for a million different things. I've got an empty jam jar, some empty cosmetic jars from some of my face products. I've got a few of those. Let's see, I know I have more than this than what I've got here. They're just in this mess of my crafting. Oh, there's one right there. Something else I'm gonna do, once I decide which ones these are and finish this particular project, I am gonna go through and reorganize again with what I'm working on with my crafting. I just have too much out at once and it's starting to get a little uh, overwhelming. Anyway, I have some fur, faux fur, from the craft store dumpsters from back in the day, recently reorganized, made it easy to find. And I've got from Timu, all these labels are from timu.com. We do have a link and a discount code in the video description. Please be sure to check that out. So I've got this werewolf hair one. We will use some of this fur as the werewolf hair. Where will we put it? I'm not sure yet. Maybe in this one might be cool. Then with these ones, I was thinking it might be fun to have something like these, which are from, I think, a recent roadside freebie pick, to have this in here and a lid and have it be like a terrarium, but also one of our oddities, curiosities, and have like a big spider or something like that in there and then have this elevated on some kind of a stand. I think that's going to look really awesome. Kind of the same idea with this one. Make a lid with it, maybe even have it the other way. I think that would look really nice as like a cloche. Not sure yet what will go in it. But this is the last project that I am gonna do today and then I need to get reorganized.